Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Bard's Tale 4. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today in the Sulphur Springs, I think. I think it's the name of this place. It's a terrible place. It's a ter I, I bet it's a terrible place. Let's, uh, let's bring this skeleton back from the dead. I think, uh, the, that's the one. I don't think we talked to him last episode. Oh, I did. It's Mangar. Of course. You sent me to face eternal death. He's very upset with life. Uh, let's see what we have over here. The crying soul key on this thing. Let's open it. And we have ourselves the contaminator. Well, that's probably for one of the one of the um, puzzles that we saw before. That looks like a lot of people can use that. Uh, indeed, all the frontliners. That adds spell points. So maybe, hey. maybe you'll like it. She does like it, although unfortunately that's uh, yeah. I don't, nah, I don't need that. Uh, eh? Do you like it? Who uses what is that? That is a main hand, but what type of weapon is it? It's a sword, I assume. That would be for you, but you don't like it. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if it gets better if we put it in the right place. Let's keep, let's keep it around and see what we can do with it. So in between episodes, I have uh, upgraded my graphics card. So now I'm running this the, the game not only at 60 frames constantly, constantly, but um, so I'm recording at 60 frames as well, by the way. But um, I have also uh, upgraded the particle effects that look very, very good actually. I, that's the that's the thing that was really uh, keeping me back um, with, with my previous graphics cards with the particle effects. They just devastated everything. Huh, thought we were gonna go through that portal. Through a portal that showed up, of course. But there's no portal. So we're just going back. Return to Rabi. That is indeed what we were gonna do. Well, here we are. That was faster than I thought. Did we come up here? I would say so. Why didn't I bring you back? Consume. Yeah, this is the way back over here. Did I forget that? I must have. Did I go around? Hmm. I must have forgotten. Either way, uh, we have a teleporter over there, which is great. Uh, and uh, we have dead people all over. And we still have this bit of puzzle over here that I haven't figured out. And also, now that I think about it, I was thinking about this the other day. I was thinking about this the other day. Let's see. So I don't want to go into them. I wonder... So that's a horse. That's a serpent. These don't have anything. I'm going to take damage if I go in. Because I took damage before. So, I... Uh, let me see. So we can't save normally. Because I can't... Yeah, so I'll have to make my way back. Uh, on foot. Can you sprint? Because you were sprinting just now. That's the one. Okay, so I'm going down there again because there is one place that I didn't open. Remember that secret. Remember that uh, the, the, the lever uh, sequence. And also this sound happens every time. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's a bug. Because... So also I don't know where to go. Yeah, look at all the things opening. <laughs> it's just slightly weird. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, ooh, it's a dead end. A complete dead end. Wait, what? No, how do I get downstairs? Through here. Through here. Okay, good. I'm already downstairs. The point is, there's a room. And that room, I believe, is on the third floor. And it had a combination. So let's mess with that combination. Oh, it disables that. 
thought it was a button. Yeah. Let's not mess with that. Let's go this way. I don't actually remember where it was. Let's look at the map and see. I can't tell because it's all levels. I didn't know I could do that. And I'm behind that, okay. Not look not creepy at all. And these might be the secrets not secrets, the um the clues. Hmm. Okay, let me find the room and I'll tell you what I'm thinking. Okay, I figured it was up here, I just couldn't find the way back up. Now, we have this, and we have that, which is the last place for us to look at uh, up here. Everything else has been solved, as far as I can tell. Uh, and I was looking around, I was I was looking at things. I admit I have I didn't do the best job imaginable. Uh, there's a lot more possibilities, but uh, I don't know what I should do with this. I wonder if it's a combination of uh, the locks below. Or what? I really don't get it. I'm ready to brute force it though, because I can brute force that relatively well. It's gonna take a little while, but it's fine. Yeah, I, 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 there's no clues. I can't see what it might be. So here in the quest items, this might be it, of course. There, there might be something in here. So these are the party volumes. Are these constellations? Skyhenge? Okay, I don't need that. Singe note. Huh. Yeah, there's no clue anywhere. So it must be found elsewhere in the level. I just don't remember finding it. Maybe it's up here. Let's just, before I brute force. There's four. I'm, all, I'm looking for four things at any moment. And uh, there's four red orbs right there. But they don't really have symbols on them. As far as I can tell. I never opened this. Which is fine, because these don't lead anywhere. Let's just go in here as an act of desperation, even though this is not the last place. Yeah, there's nothing. I'm going to need to brute force that. Because I don't see what it could possibly be. Okay, I'll brute force it. I'll be right back. You know, one thing I think could be... These are four, there's four little crosses there. And one way of making a puzzle would be to turn them on when you have the right thing over here. Wouldn't that be good? Also, Oh, there are, uh, yeah, I was looking at markings in the, uh, in the thing. Yeah, there's these things over here. That would be another way of making a puzzle like this. Reward paying attention here. But yeah, what I was thinking is maybe if I rotate that and these things turn on, because somehow they could turn on, that'd be a cool thing, but it isn't. I did it. Fortunately, it didn't take too long. I was sort of getting desperate right about then. Uh, I don't know which one of these it is. 
I noticed uh, the sound. I hear, I heard the sound of that thing disabled. Um, but uh, yeah, it took, it didn't took, it didn't take me very long. What the heck's going on? There's water falling from the sky. Really? Well, that's an effect I hadn't seen before. Uh, yeah, it didn't take me too long. About 15 minutes or something. Uh, let's open this. And we have. Adamast Mace. I bet it's not gonna be good enough. It looks like it, it might be good, but let's see. Do we, do any of I? us, oh, you use a mace, okay, let's see. That is worthwhile. It's a flat out upgrade on her. Uh, it's, it, yeah, it's, I, it's pretty fine, pretty fine. The extra armor class is really good. Uh, okay, well, that only took a bit of a minute. Uh, so, uh, a hot minute, I think, is what I was gonna, what I was trying to say there. Uh, so let me get down there, and let me get back to Rabi, because that's where we're going next. But before we do that, let's try this again. Oh, wait. Ah! No, no, wait. Are we gonna be alright? We're not gonna be alright. What? Okay, if somebody dies, it's okay. Ah! Well, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand. Um, anyway, uh, we're good. Let's, uh, yeah, we're good and dead. Uh, let's see. Wild Loud whisper, Whistle Rabby would be in. Uh, we're there. It's got a bribe below. Off we go. All the symbols around us. Yeah, we should be okay. <sighs> Man, that took a while. I'm sorry. Well. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I need to look up online and see if there's anybody that tells me how that clue works. Because if it's a, it's if it's a brute force, I was trying to do the maths in my head while keeping the tempo of the clicking, uh, and I couldn't come up with numbers because it's seven times seven times seven times seven, uh, so seven uh, to to the four, and um, and I can't, I couldn't come up with it in my head. And so I was just paying attention to the thing I was listening to. Stay in the camp. People saying things I agree with in regards to Formula One. How about that? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's go back inside to Rabi. And uh, and see what's going on. See, you know, now that we, I suppose, dealt with Mangar a little bit better, maybe we're going to be in the clear? So, friends... Back from the Enshriach. And you put Mangar back in the ground, he says, even though he doesn't, where he belongs. Well done. But I can't see why by your I can see by your eyes that's not the end of it. Tell me the bad news. Uh well, Mangar said Yad has ordered someone named Xanta to seek the blood of the ale the Athelrood, whatever that is. Hmm. Lagoth Zanta, the Lestradi wizard who nearly conquered all Akaith. Did this Yadis resurrect him too? Faith, how powerful must you be to have the greatest villains in the old tales at your beck and call? Fenwith told us Yadis seeks to kill a maiden who sings a song that keeps the gods of the All War from entering our world. This sounds very ominous, all of this. Did he mean the song of the maiden? There's plenty of songs about the All War, but I'd no idea she'd anything to do with it. By the river. No wonder we're hearing her voice so often. This Yadis wants to crack open the world and let in our doom. So, what is the blood of Ethelrood? Hmm. Ethelrood was the first High Jarl of the Stenish Isles, but he's dead 600 years. How would Xanta get his blood? And why would he need it? Ah. <sighs> if you still want to help us, friends, then I'd ask you to go to the Isles and find out. 
Okay, tell us more of Xanta. He had ambition. I'll give him that. Tried to conquer all of Caith by chopping up the Wand of Destiny and using the arcane disharmony that followed to make us fight amongst ourselves. If it hadn't been for a plucky band of adventurers, he might have succeeded too. It's always a plucky band of adventurers, isn't it? So what are the Stenish Isles? The icy home of the Einar Jarls. Centuries back, they were the fiercest raiders of the north. Now, they're honest shepherds and fisherfolk, with their days of bloody-handed reaving just songs and tales around the fire. Well, we're off to the Isles, then. The paladins have locked down the docks, the way they did the city gates. I see Duke again if you want a ship to the Isles. The Einar. <laughs> Perhaps the blood of Athelrood has another meaning. To the Stenish Isles, then. These villains are leading us all over the map. <laughs> Can't we let the Einar take care of this? That's pretty power. That is pretty power right there. Okay, well, we're off. Uh, we have many things to do still. Specifically, there's one place that I haven't been to, and I probably should be to, uh, which is... Am I on the right... It says up there, Bardstale plus Main. I wonder if I'm on the right build. I should be on the right build. I don't remember... I mean, I do have the game from Early Access. Not Early Access, what's the word? Back... Uh, fig? You know, the... The thing that this game was funded by. Kickstarter. That's the one. I know these things. Anyway, um, what do we need to do is we need to go back to... The... Uh, uh, that's through here, okay. Uh, well, there's the tower that so, priestess. we haven't been to. Are there songs of Mathan? Hymns to her? Oh, aye. Hymns and songs of praise, and plenty of songs about her, too. Like story songs, you mean? Aye. Honey in the tree. Mathan and the narwhal. Mathan schools her cubs. Mathan's wedding day. Ha ha ha! Wonderful. Would you sing some to me? Well, I, I roar more than I sing. Never mind about that. I'm sure you'll do fine. Go on. She didn't actually sing. Which I can't say is a bad thing. Anyway, we're going to... Uh, we're going to... Oh, no. Right. This bugs out the game, doesn't it? Oh, it didn't. Good. Uh, we're going to Torfion Fettercairn. Atian Tunnel. I believe it is Fetter Cairn. Oh, it bugs out the minimap. Did you just notice? Um, yeah. Uh, so we're. I don't think it is here. I don't remember the names. It's that tunnel. We need to go down there. I thought we might have been able to do it, and we should be able to do it now. So we're not too far away. But this is definitely not where we need to be. I'll take care of your level ups in a little bit. So we're down here, which means it's the Atian Tunnel. But also that sounds weird to me. It's kind of right below. Is it Torfion? Yeah, it is. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm, I, I was looking at the map and I could finally... Oh. No, it is. Yeah, it's the Forest of Intriac. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I, did, I hadn't... Uh, and sort of connected the places together. I can show you the progress that we made. Although I can't tell what to the the tunnels are supposed to be. I don't remember precisely. But we are in the right place. So, uh, unless this is... Nope. Everything is good. Okay. So I can show you... Oh, I don't have access to the world map. I need to go over there. But then that would break the game, wouldn't it? So let's not do that. Uh, yeah, basically, I, I pointed it with my mouse. There, You can see the path we take. Specifically, the path we take to get here from all the way down there. Um, my duty is here. Mm-hmm. It's all good. It's all good. 
Hey, do you have money? Who? Who? No, no, don't tell me. I know who you are. The outsiders who saved Mathan. Careful, Granny. Shut it, you. It's what you get. Ah, she's right. I just want to trade. If the... You're pretty close as it is, you bar... Haven't learned but what's she's... causing it all. In the meantime... Okay, okay. If you're hit... It's good, it's it's good, it's good. She has money, this is fantastic. Okay, so I'm not going to sell that, but I'm going to sell this. And I'm going to sell these as well. And uh, I don't really need anything from you, do I? Modern sacrificial dagger. Yeah, it's just to get the money. Come back. I hush. Well, I, 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 I'd love to chat with you both, but I have places to be, and we're probably gonna die. A moment, friends. Here is where we either rescue our world from darkness or let it be consumed by the void. I hope we shall prevail, but win or lose. I want you to know that I am honored to have fought beside you at the end. Fires of Malethia! It can speak! And in complete sentences! I speak when there is something to say. This is the end game, isn't and it? And that something was a bunch of tired platitudes. Maybe you should have kept it to yourself. Tired platitudes. Uh, anyway, uh, we have one level up over here. Uh, and we are going up. That's a passive. That's also passive. Critical hits with sword abilities have a 50% chance to restore uh, one opportunity. That's quite good. However, if I remember correctly... Uh, no, well, she does have... It's the great swords, I think. Uh, let's see. That's the axe. What weapon do you have? Yeah. It's a two-handed weapon, right? Two-handed. Oh, she has a thing that allows her to use two-handed weapons in both hands. Right. I don't have another one, though, but that's good. Because um, I'll do that tireless over there. Let's see if this works well. The Badish Lowland Dwarven Ruins. And I'm thinking, because I'm pretty sure we got that speech before, I'm thinking this is endgame. And I don't understand why we have access to it right now, but maybe it's for challenge runs or something? There's no real fast way to get here. By skipping content, though. So it's not like things are open. Well, if you say so. Why does that have skulls in it? Did you see? Okay. Good to the last drop. Yep. This looks interesting. I don't know why they have they had skulls in it, in them. But it's an orange fight. We could do this. My thing is, uh, the reason why I'm doing this is uh, because I, I this might be an optional battle, so I want to do it. Uh, so, yeah? I would get you the spell song. Probably. Um, yeah, you laugh. And then, I would get the meditate. And then I'd start distributing damage. That was a critical. That was another critical. Another one. And now she's out of criticals. Okay, that's pretty good. This allows me... ...to... ...just use that, for example. Which probably is going to be a good thing if I attack you, for example. Let's try that. And Hide in shadows. Ha. Attack you. Now everybody blows up with extra damage. Which is very good. What do you want me to do? Uh, I want you to do this. So both of them at the counter is mark. And hopefully I get a critical. I did. Okay, so everybody's got more conjurer's mark just in time uh okay now you that's for uh armor rending so i could taunt you so i could do this or that no this one uh, however here yeah 
you can't do that, which would be a good thing, because I think you throw your thing and that would trigger their attacks. Uh, to me, well, I can attack them both. I can attack, I can taunt you. And this will blow everybody up again. Let's hope that we get lucky. The damage, of course, this time is not holy. Didn't kill that one, though. That's a shame. That is a shame. Um, let's see. So I can... Well... I don't have a simple attack. Because I could taunt you. I. That's on fr in front of you. Ready, I suppose. What should I do? Oh Speak. man, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Um. Ready. That sucks. On your There's no way to do this. There's no way to kill him. Command me. I. So I could only do this. Here. I could also use this, but yeah. Let's do this. There it is. With an honor strike to boot. Stand aside. Let's find out how this works. That's a mind jab for 40 damage, which is good news. That is 40 damage, hopefully. Indeed, which is less good news because that happens and she dies. Okay. Okay. I don't know what happened to the other dude. That's what happened to the other dude. Okay. You can't hurt me. Oh, yes, I can. It's just you can hurt me as well, and a lot. So, I can do this. I can do that. So, I would need... To... Hmm... That sounds like a good thing. It's gonna hit them both, isn't it? Let's pay attention. Deals 18 physical to all targets. Yes. Those guys still need to blow up, need to blow up, please. They didn't. That's bad luck. Command me. Now what? That is bad luck. Hmm. Well, this is pretty good, so let's go, go ahead and do that. That's going to kill that guy. Okay, that's good. Uh, this does 30 damage, which somehow is going to kill you. Because that's a critical. No, the Oholi. I forgot about that. Okay, that's a Zealous. Let's do that. No critical there, although she might have gotten a critical before. And then I can do this and kill you. Really nasty fight, but I'm glad I pulled it off. And we're also out of time for the day. So we're going to figure out what exactly is going on down here. I'm also going to look up and see if I'm screwing up uh, anything. Uh, ooh, we have this thing. Uh, I, I'm going to look it up and see if I'm screwing uh, things up by coming down here early. Uh, but for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Bard Still 4. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.